Hello and welcome again to this edition of Coach Paul's Adaptive Gym Class. As always, we are brought to you today by Miracle League of Connecticut and Oak Hill Adaptive Sports and Fitness. Today we're going to have all kinds of fun and games, working with some in-home hurdles, doing some fitness, and playing some games. So with that, let me go ahead and walk you through the different pieces of equipment we're going to be using today. Like usual, we've got the two light weights or my soup cans, two heavier weights, which today I'm using uh, milk jugs for. I've got a ball. You can use any ball of any size. Size. Today, we are going to be having fun with some tape. So masking tape or floor tape is probably going to be the best thing for you. And then, last but not least, I have my handy dandy pool noodle. You can also use a broomstick or a rolled up towel, anything like that that's nice and long like this is what we're looking for. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start out with our pool noodle or our wrapped up towel or our broomstick. Right now I want you to hold it straight out in front of you and then we're going to raise it up over our head and we're going to bend side to side. Reaching over as far as we can, getting up as tall as we can, and then going to the other side. Good. Try to keep those arms extended as far as you can and still keep your balance. If you have a hard time with balance, you can go ahead and touch it here. Hold your chair and touch it here. And then switch hands and go across your body and across your body. Okay? Keep going. One more time across both ways. Side to side. And don't just reach your arms down. Make sure your arms stay as extended as you can. And bend with the core. Good. And rest. Now we're going to do a push press to a shoulder raise. Chest press, push press, shoulder raise. This is all about cardio, so this is going to be speed. Ready, set, go. All the way up all the way out and each time pause just in front of your chest before you do the next movement but still move as quick as you're capable of for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and rest all right, the next cardio exercise that we're gonna do is we're, since we got a pool noodle today, I figure we're gonna row our boat, okay? Right through, going hip to hip, pushing as much water as we can with those straight arms. Ready, set, go, quick as you can. How fast can you move? Really push that water, think about driving that arm back, and then as quick as you can, get the other hand up high. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. All right. Take a second, shake it out, get loose, and then we're going to raise that pool noodle or broomstick above our head and bend side to side. Again, challenge yourself to keep those arms as extended as you can and still working those side bends. Good. If you need to, you can go one-handed, side to side, coming across your body, reaching down. But keep going, two more side bends each way. One more around the horn. Good job. All right. Now we're doing the chest press, the shoulder raise. Pushing out in each direction and pausing at our chest just before we switch direction. Ready, set, quick hands, go. Push press, shoulder press, chest press, shoulder press. Push it out there. Quick hands. Good. Five, four, three, two, 
and one. Nice job. All right. These next two, we're going to do a couple different ways. You can run in place, cheek to hip, run in place, fast feet, or you can do a speed bag, wrist over wrist, if you're using just upper body. Okay, I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to run in place from a seated position and do a speed bag, or you can run in place standing up, or you can run in place and do a speed bag. Ready, set, go. Fast feet, fast hands. Go, 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 go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and done. All right. I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to show it to you standing up. So we're running in place. Quick feet, quick hands. Cheek to hip with the hands. Notice when I'm doing this that my hands are nice and open and loose. When you're doing the speed bag, make sure your hands are loose too. I don't want tight fists. I want nice, loose hands. The only thing touching is your finger and your thumb. Ready, set, cheek to hip, go. Run in place, quick hands, quick hands. Fast feet, fast hands. You can throw in that speed bag if you want. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. The next thing you're going to do, and you might need to pause the video to do this, but I already set it up beforehand, so we're going to keep going. But I have three pieces of tape, and I put it down on the floor to act like three different hurdles. The first thing we're going to do is I've got them separated by about three and a half, four feet, and I'm going to go through them like a snake, side to side. So on your feet, it looks like this. I'm going to back pedal, then come forward to the end of the tape, side shuffle, come backward, and then side shuffle again. Now I'm going to do that same thing coming back. Side shuffle back, forward up, and forward back as fast as you can. Okay, I'm going to try that one more time standing up, and then I'll show the adaptation for my friends on wheels. So we're going back. Forward as quick as you can, side step, back this way, and side step again. And then forward, side, back, and explode forward. Okay? When you're doing that, it's really important to stay in that good athletic stance and keep that rump down and back pedal and change that momentum. Forward and back, forward and back. Okay? Keep that up while I show the other adaptation. So for my friends on wheels, we're pulling back with two hands, taking one push forward, pushing up, and this time we're gonna switch around and come around. So you can do it either way. You can go forward and back this way, going two pushes forward, and then two pushes back, try not to run over the hurdle, and then come up, or you can change direction each time. By going up, turn and hitting in, and turn and hitting in this way. Okay? And then you come back around. So, go ahead and try it a couple different times that way. And then pause the video because while you're trying it that way, I'm going to get ready for the next one. So on this next one, we're going to jump like a bunny rabbit. Two feet together, and you're going to try to jump from one piece of tape to the next. Guiding, gathering your body and your legs and jumping forward, swinging your arms through your hips and landing on the next piece of tape. So I'm gonna do the wheelchair version first. I'm gonna take one big push and see if I can land on the other piece of tape. One big push, using my full core muscles the best I can. One big push, and I'm there. Same thing, now especially for my friends on wheels, if we're gonna be able to push forward, we gotta be able to pull backwards. I'm gonna see if I can land right back on that other piece of tape. One pull back, and I'm there. One pull back, and I'm there. Okay, so for my friends on wheels, try that a couple times. And now, one more time, I'm gonna talk through it. When I try to jump forward, I get my legs underneath me, my feet are pointing forward. 
my hips are down and I'm loaded this way, and I'm gonna try to bend my knees and explode, and as I jump up, I'm swinging my arms through the movement. Let's see if I can get forward to that next jump. Now, Coach Paul's legs aren't that strong, so if I can get here in two jumps, I'll be excited. Okay, one more time. Notice my feet are about shoulder width apart. I'm loading myself by dropping my hips down, and then I explode forward and try to land on both feet. Again, one more time. Explode forward and land on both feet. Now, when you do this on your feet, just like my friends did on wheels, let's see if you can hop backwards. Explode and hop. Explode and hop. That's a little bit harder. Going sideways, or going backwards, ready, jump. And jump. Not bad, so try it that way a couple times. Now, the other fun part that we can do with the tape on the floor, once you've tried the jumping a couple different times, is we're gonna work on some targeting. Now, this is gonna be really funny, and my cameraman's already laughing at me, but I'm gonna see if I can get the ball to roll and stop just before that last piece of tape. All right, nice and easy control. Oof, we went just a little too far. I'm gonna get really close to the camera for a second. Run up and grab it, and come back. All right, let's try it again. This time I'm gonna go for that second piece of tape. So this is kind of like when we're playing bocce ball. If you're outside, you're trying to get your ball as close to the target ball as you can. This, right now, I'm using that second piece of tape as my target ball. Let's see how I do. It's all about being soft and controlled and that same nice pendulum swing. Oof. I hit my target, just rolled past it. All right. Now here's the tough one. Trying to get it on that first piece of tape. I'm going to change my angle a little bit and try to get it to stop right there. Just try. Oh, I kept rolling. All right. I'm going to go through it one more time. This will be another one too if you have bean bags or a roll up pair of socks. This will work great for this activity as well. So I'm going to try it with my ball one more time on that big piece of tape. See if I can get it to stop. Hey, look at that. I might have done it before, folks. Maybe. I did practice this, I promise. All right, we're going to try it two more times at different levels. All right, and I'm going to angle myself. And to challenge yourself, create different angles. Come way over to the side, see what you can do. Oh, just a little bit past. One more time on that short one. I'm gonna go way over the other side real quick. Create a different angle. And see what I can do. Oh, just a bit outside. All right. Now, what I want you to do is everything I just did, as always, try to do with that opposite side, the non-dominant hand, the weaker side, the one that you don't write with or color with. Go through all three of those targetings with your off hand as well, okay? But when you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and grab our lighter weights and finish with fitness as we most often do. And we're gonna start right here and we're gonna work our forearms for a little bit. So what I want you to do is I want you to tuck your elbows into your side. And this is really funny because this is the first time I've actually done this exercise with an actual can in my hand. We're gonna do what's called empty cans. So you're holding it right here and you're pouring it out. As I do that, I'm bringing my elbow up high and I'm turning that wrist over. So I'm dumping the can out. Same thing right here, dump the can, okay? Working those forearms. Good, right there. Keep it tight. Tight. Good job. One more each way. Good. Now we're gonna open and close the gate, right here. Good. rest and then we're going to jab out in front but this time when we jab it's not about speed 
It's like you're reaching and grabbing that can right off the shelf and pulling it back to yourself. Reach and grab and pull. Good. Three, two, and one. Good. Now, bring those elbows in tight and open the gate. Good. See how we're keeping it in tight? We're really working those shoulders. It's really important for my friends on the wheels to keep our shoulders in line. Keep them nice and loose. Now, keeping it tight right here, we're just going to empty that can. Two more each way. And done. All right. And I'm going to reach out one more time. Again, this is all about being nice and slow. We're just cooling down our muscles. Pulling back. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. I'm gonna go ahead and set them down right here. And it's that time of day again where we stretch and say goodbye. So now lock those fingers, press your palms to the sky, and count with me. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Now reach down and touch those toes. If you're standing up, straight legs as far as as far as you can stand up, and then bend at the waist and touch those toes. One, two, three. Don't bend your knees. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Right arm across your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and other arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Right hand to right shoulder, left hand to right elbow, tricep stretch. One, two, three, four, five. Job and switch. Left hand to left shoulder, right hand to left elbow, bring it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. And arms out, arm circles going forward. One, two, three, four. These are nice small circles. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And backwards. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're gonna do big giant circles going forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lastly, we're gonna add in a stretch that we don't always do, but it's really good for your head and neck. We're gonna do some neck rolls for me. So you're gonna take your chin, you're gonna point your chin to your chest, then roll your right side of your head, right ear to right shoulder, chin to the sky, left ear to left shoulder, back down to chin to chest and around. Nice and slow, we're not trying to whip that head around. We're just doing a nice, easy neck roll Rolling it around in a nice, easy circle. Go around two more times. And one more. And sit up back in neutral, nice tall back. All up nice and straight. And now we're gonna go the opposite direction. So start with your left ear to your left shoulder, your chin to your chest, your right ear to your right shoulder, chin to the sky, and left ear to left shoulder and around. And again, nice and slow and under control. Don't just whip that head around, control it well. Three more times around. And two, and one. Nice job. Always important to cool down and stretch after you've been working hard. Let me know how you enjoyed that.
that hurdle work and all the different targeting exercises, be, feel free to check us out on our YouTube channel, Coach Paul's Adaptive Gym Class, and follow us on our Facebook pages and Miracle League of Connecticut's web page at miracleleaguect.org. I look forward to seeing you next time, and we'll see you down the road. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day.